Last to enter the den tonight are best friends Natalie Duval and Alison Burton, who believe their business is much more than just a balance sheet. We want to take this project and change the world. OK, we've got this. We've got this. It's about diversity, it's about inclusion. So we want it as big as possible and we're going to get there. But creating a business that could inspire change has been far from easy. We've made lots of personal sacrifices. We're both single mothers, and so spending time with our children has come at a cost. For us to get an investment today, it would just be like a sick of approval of all the hard work we've done. Hello, Dragons. My name is Natalie Duval. And this is my business partner, Alison Burton. And together, we co-founded March Muses. We're here today to ask for £50,000 in exchange for 15% share. In 2018, whilst hanging Christmas decorations on our tree, my seven-year-old daughter turned to me and asked, Mummy, can Christmas fairies be black? That was a question that I wasn't expecting, and actually, it made me quite sad. After an unsuccessful search for black Christmas decorations in the UK, Natty and I founded our own range, and we are now the UK leading brand for Christmas decorations of colour. We have been trading for two years. Last year, our turnover was £73,000. This was such a huge achievement for us because we are both single mums and also we have full-time jobs. So to answer my daughter's question, can Christmas angels and fairies be black? Yes and our products ensure that that question is never asked again. Christmas decorations which embrace diversity are the offering from best friends and business partners, Natalie Duval and Alison Burton. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The duo are seeking 50,000 pounds in exchange for 15% of their company and their focus on inclusion has been enthusiastically received by the Dragons. I just want to say mega congratulations. Thank you. My heart broke when your story came out about your daughter asking that question. Yeah. I was actually sitting here annoyed with myself and shocked that that is reality. And the, how can we ever be in a society when we're like that? Yeah. Natalie and Alison. Yes. I agree with Peter, you know, and I think you're very impressive. Oh, thank you. Um, just give us an idea of price. So if so take Santa. What does Santa cost you? So door to door, Santa is about two pounds. Two pounds. What do you sell Santa for? For twelve pounds. Twelve, £12. 12 pounds, right. So you you got a margin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and how much do you spend on marketing to acquire a customer? So this is our thing. So um, for the last two years we spent maybe sixty pounds on oh, marketing. All. Yeah. It's just been through social media, word of mouth. People yep. hear this story and they want to be a part of it. We even had a production company come up to us and say, I oh, would love to create you a, a Christmas advert. Would you love to do it? And we were like, uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> OK. And they created the most yeah. beautiful Christmas advert all for free. So at the moment, where are you selling? So we sell from our website. But we have got a few boutiques that we also sell in just around London. So you're seventy-three thousand pound a year. How much did your website do? It was about sixty-six thousand. Okay. That's it. And I guess I'm about to state the blinking obvious. Very seasonal. Yeah. But some of our products, especially our lady angel with the afro, people use them as the guardian angels throughout the year. But yes, this line majority is Christmas time from September until December is when we do it. <laughs> Despite minimal marketing and season-specific products, Natalie and Alison's business has still enjoyed healthy sales. But Sarah Davies wants to discover more about the wider market in festive adornments. Can you name me, like, the top Christmas bauble brands in the UK? Yeah, I think who we know who are popular for Christmas and their ranges would be John Lewis. Uh, Marks and Spencers, Liberty, Liberty Dunelm. So, what you've just given me there, I don't know if you realise, is exactly fundamentally what the problem is with the business. Because I asked you for brands and you gave me 
retailers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my observation of this market is your John Lewis, Dunnell, Marks and Spencer's buyers, if they see your product and believe there is an appetite, and do you know what? It sounds to me like there absolutely is, which means that your John Lewis, Dunnell, whatever it is buyer, will now be going to the factories and saying, this is what I should be selling in my store, guys. Yeah. And I worry that there isn't space for you in the chain because of the nature of how that market works. Concerns that big retail could leave Natalie and Alison with little room for further growth threaten to deprive their pitch of its sparkle. Now, Stephen Bartlett wants to understand exactly what's brought them to the den. You, as entrepreneurs, are just phenomenal. Oh, you're phenomenal. thank you. So, yeah, so deeply, deeply inspiring. Mm -hmm. what, when you, you know, because your business is profitable now, so what is it you're here for in terms of non-financial um, backing from an, a dragon? It's the know-how, it's the knowledge that we can gain from a dragon like any of you here today. Um, yeah. You know, roots into market, you know, the barriers that we're being faced with. With your experience, I'm sure that those challenges won't still be there for us. I do think that um, you probably do need, need some guidance, mm -hmm. but obviously I'm here to in, invest my capital with the view of getting a return. And I don't think that's necessarily going to be possible. So from an investment standpoint, it's not a business for me. Okay. okay. However, <laughs> you have got um, a mentor in me for life. And if there's anything that I can do for both of you to help support you, then I'm here to do that. But as it relates to an investment today, it's, it's not going to be one for me. And um, I applaud you, but I'm out. OK. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Disappointment for Alison and Natalie as the first dragon declined the deal. Tuka Suleiman bought into their mission, but will he be prepared to buy into their business? You're great. And I've, I really love your passion, your enthusiasm. The, the problem is, it's a seasonal business. And is it a business worth investing? I don't think at the moment. So, unfortunately, I'm out. Guys, I'll tell you where I'm at. Um, I think you've done a fantastic job. And honestly, I applaud you. Thank you so much. And I think you've done exceptionally well in shining a light on your mission and what you're doing, and I think it's so important. But I also think the more it shines a light on that, the more it's going to increase your competition, which I think is going to limit the growth potential of the company. Okay. And I'm going to tell you that I'm out. However, I am also going to tell you that this will become my new angel oh, on top of my lovely. Christmas tree, because I don't want my boys growing up right. thinking that angels have to have white skin. Lovely. Thank you Thank very you. much. Um, I absolutely love what you're doing. I love it. But, uh, but I can't see that there's going to be room for an investor in this, you know, and get the kind of level of returns that any investor's looking for. Right. Um, and that, you know, my heart's, my heart's holding me in. My heart keeps going... <laughs> I mean, there is, there's so many um, different ideas that we do have, so many different occasions that just don't s see anything of colour at all um, and big brands might do it they haven't yet we've been going for two years we you know that we've been on media on ITV news channel 5 news Lorraine featured us um, and that day we took in 10,000 pounds in literally um, not even 24 hours yeah you're starting to win my head over <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go quiet for a minute <laughs> She was moments away from becoming the fourth dragon out, but Natalie and Alison have managed to bring Deborah Meaden back from the brink. And Peter Jones believes that given the right exposure, the pair could have a fantastic opportunity to make not only a profit, but also a real difference. If this gets out there, anybody that has a conscience that wants to assist and help change for good is going to buy this product. Yeah. And you could create a wave of change yeah. that is huge. The hard thing is that 
when you put your business hat on and you look where the business is today and then you attribute value to that, it could come across actually quite exploitative if you look at perhaps what the equity position you would need to ask to invest in this business. If you'd come in and asked for less money, it, it would have made it easier. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> I think Peter's laid it out exactly where I think this is. And I do think there's lots of opportunity, but there's also opportunity to get this wrong. You know, it's almost too important to get it wrong. Mm. Listen, I'm going to make you an offer, but it needs quite a lot of work to make sure it A, makes the difference, and B, makes money, you know. Yeah. Um, so, but I am going to make you an offer for all of the money for a third of the business. OK. Thank you, Deborah. An offer for Natalie and Alison, albeit in exchange for more than double the 15% slice of their company they were originally looking to give away. Only Peter Jones is yet to show his hand. Could he undercut his fellow dead stalwart in a bid to clinch the deal? You know I'm going to make you an offer. You know that, right? So <laughs> I'm sick. You didn't, but that's, that's clear. <laughs> I do, that's music you do, hilarious. you do, you do. My hands are clamming up, and whenever they do, <laughs> I get that feeling. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to make you an offer because I can't resist not. Oh. And I'm going to make you an offer that's better than Deborah's. Oh. I'm going to make you an offer for all of the money for thirty percent. But I also want to beg Deborah to drop hers <laughs> to 15 as well and join me. Um, listen, I, I would love to be part of this. So I'm happy to share with Peter for half of the money for 15%. OK. Is that wall? <laughs> <laughs> you know it so well. Thank you. <laughs> Plenty for Natalie and Alison to ponder as Deborah Meaden and Peter Jones team up to offer £50,000 in return for a combined 30% stake in the business. So I've got blind plus 25. It's decision time for the decorations duo. Um, thank you so much for your offers. We would absolutely love to have both of you on board um, at 15% each. Amazing. Yay! Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> New beginnings. <laughs> yes, indeed. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye-bye. Christmas comes early for Natalie and Alison, who leave the den with £50,000. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God. And the backing of two dragons who can take their business to a whole new level. Oh, <sighs> we are feeling just fabulous, like, on top of the world. Oh, my goodness. A bit of shampoo, yes, a bit of gin and tonic, and then we're back to mum life. Yeah. School run in the morning, yeah. so no rest for the wicked. 